So let's go over the seven point MSR mobilization of the ankle and foot. I'm going to get you to come in a little bit closer here so we can actually take a look at the Earl of Bergamot's foot here. And we'll notice that we'll start out with the first joint here in between here, the tallow curl joint here. Now as you see, this articulates with the tibia and fibula and it only moves in this vector so we actually can't get any rotation here because it's locked in quite well. Then we're going to move on to the navicular and we'll work our way around and see if we've got good uh, mobility in terms of the cuneiforms, the medial, intermediate and lateral. Then we'll start to move up and actually get on to the first metatarsal. Included in that, we'll actually move over to all the other metatarsals and we'll take a look and see if we can't get some mobility in there. Work up into the phalanges and then we'll actually end up with actually getting on the cuboid bone here, which is a very important pulley system for the pronius longus muscle. Okay, so let's actually start out with a little bit of a mobilization here on the talocural joint here. And quite often what we'll do is we'll actually just get a little bit of traction here. How are we doing there, Mickey? That's good. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it down a little bit, open up the joint. And then I'm going to actually get on top of there and move the foot into dorsiflexion as I put a little bit of pressure on that. How's that feeling? That's fine. Good. I don't think you've got much of a restriction there. No, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to move down onto the navicular. Now it's really important when we're on here to not only open it up. now. For a lot of you, if joint manipulation is not in your scope of practice, then we're going to have to mobilize the joint. And to do so, we want to make sure that we actually get on, free it up a little bit just to get a little bit of traction. And after we do that, we want to just have a process of kind of wringing out the joint. So we're going to move one arm externally and the other arm with the thumb internally. How's that feeling on there? Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll kind of change our vector a little bit. Which one did you feel more? I think the other one. The other one, yes. Yeah. Take it from there. Good. And then we'd move down from the regular part way until we get on the cuneiforms and basically see how our motion is in there. I'm not feeling much in terms of a restriction. You're going to have to hold it to get any kind of glide, though. Are you feeling any tension in there? No, not at all. Actually. Okay. Good. And we'd probably go, if we did find an area that was restricted, we'd spend, oh, maybe three, four passes until we found a little bit of a mobilization in there. Okay, so we want to get on the midfoot here, get up on the metatarsals. You feeling much there? No, that's good. Yeah. Trying to get that nice glide in there. I can feel a little motion there, yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Over a little bit. And then we're going to move up onto the first metatarsal joint here, and I'm actually going to traction that down a bit here. Feeling that? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of torsion into there. Okay, how does that feel? Oh, a little release there. Now, this is really interesting because a lot of people don't realize the restrictions they get in their feet at the first metatarsal joint. And this is a key point in terms of our gait apparatus just pushing us forward. If we have a restriction here, that's going to affect overall function. And of course, we'll just get on the other toes, kind of work our way around here, open them up a bit. Okay. And just take it and rotate it a bit. And again, if it's within your scope of practice, feel free to adjust it. If it's not, please stick to the mobilization procedures. Good. Problem. Okay, now I'm going to have you actually turn over, Mickey, or get on the cuboid. It's down here. I'm going to move the Earl out of the way here a little bit. Bring your foot up. So, we're going to go along by the styloid of the fifth metatarsal, take it over. Now, what happens here usually is we'll actually get a dropping of the joint, so it'll come down a little bit and then it'll move a little bit medial. So what we're going to do here is actually find the location, styloid process, on there, and then we're going to do a little bit of a motion where we actually 
rotate, and while I'm doing this, I'm going to push this way and a little bit lateral. Okay. How are we doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. How are you feeling that a bit? Yeah. All right. Now, this can be a key component in lateral foot pain. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the cuboid, uh, just check out our website at uh, motionspecificrelease.com. I actually wrote a recent blog on this, on cuboid syndrome. You feel that starting to move now? Yeah, it's way a lot easier. <laughs> it's interesting, when we first started out, it felt like, there were, you know, it was fine, but all of a sudden we started to get some motion in there. Yeah. Excellent. So these mobilization procedures are quite straightforward, but really, really effective. So I'd highly recommend you combine these with your soft tissue procedures. Excellent techniques.